Now I'm Mipim, I'm here with uh, Tadusz Kozinski, who is the Under Secretary of State Hi. Um, for Technology and Industry, is that correct? In the Ministry of Technology. In the Trade. Ministry. I'm actually responsible for FDI and for Trade. Okay, so what's Poland trying to do at the moment then to, um, you know, increase the amount of innovative industry? Well, Poland uh, is on a transformation which I actually call a, a more uh, a revolution now. We're, we're moving away in the early 90s following the first communist era. We had to uh, have capital in Poland which uh, brought in know-how, created jobs because we had hyperinflation, hyperunemployment. So the last 25 years, although we've had a tremendous uh, economic record, uh, 25 years of unbroken growth, uh, we, we're, we're falling into a middle income trap. Now. Mm -hmm. So we need to move from what I call an imitation uh, uh, economy so uh, we were competing with uh, uh, other countries on price on low margins low salaries so no money for investment no money for innovation um, so we need to move up the value chain to uh, an innovation economy so so here we're now uh, uh, actively encouraging foreign capital to come into Poland uh, capital which represents high technology future proof technology uh, working together with our universities in research and development and uh, uh, with us the developing local supply chains, working together with uh, vocational education uh, and providing good quality jobs because now uh, after 25 years when we had hyper unemployment we now have uh, record low levels of uh, unemployment so our aim isn't really to create new uh, jobs uh, it's more a question of upgrading the jobs uh, to, so, so uh, uh, employing graduates uh, in, in giving good quality uh, employment uh, so not just service contracts but employee contracts, uh, private medical schemes, uh, above average salaries, mm -hmm. uh, encouraging uh, uh, staff to, to increase their qualifications. Okay, what about the, the special economic zone? Yes, well, it's, uh, it's, uh, well it's, uh, special economic zones, we've got 14 of them in Poland. Okay. They, they have geographical limits of uh, 25,000 hectares, which is about half the size of Warsaw, the capital city. Mm -hmm. Now, they were set up 25 years ago, or 20 years ago, to, uh, uh, because uh, we, as I said, we, we needed to encourage investment in Poland to uh, to create jobs. Now it's a totally different issue. It's uh, so so. Uh, there's no reason why uh, we have to have investment in special uh, areas in Poland. Although we still have double-digit unemployment in some areas, especially north uh, northeast of Poland. But other areas we have, uh, as I say, about four or five percent uh, uh, unemployment. So really, uh, we need to change and encourage uh, uh, high technology. Uh, so our economic zones were changing, and the whole of Poland will now be an economic zone. So that's what matter. I understood. Yes, that's right. I remember so, reading so, about so, it. So, so really, the economic zone is moving to the investor. The investor mm -hmm. doesn't have to go into an economic zone. Um, he, uh, wherever the, the land that's uh, uh, authorised for investment, and the investor, he's eligible to to apply for uh, being uh, uh, access to a uh, special economic zone, which uh, allows him uh, uh, to to uh, uh, tax rebates on on corporate tax for 10 to 15 years. But more importantly, uh, we're also looking at uh, uh, the, the quality of investment. So okay. you don't you don't have to invest uh, hundreds of millions and create thousands of jobs to become eligible for an investment zone. It's it's if you're bringing high quality, uh, if uh, shared service uh, business shared services, they don't they don't require high capital, so they weren't eligible under the previous uh, regime for for being in uh, investment zones. They will be eligible under the new regime, and also to encourage uh, uh, SME Polish SMEs. It's not only Polish, but they encourage SMEs to to uh, to enter economic zones because to date uh, they were basically excluded. Uh, no SME would have a hundred million zloty and and, no. and and then buy a thousand people. Mm -hmm. And even Polish uh, big, big companies, champions, it's rarely that uh, an indigenous company suddenly uh, invests and, and uh, takes more. They they have organic growth, uh, so it's more of a foreign uh, global uh, investors uh, to date. So hopefully now the new economic zones will be uh, also open. To, to domestic capital and especially for SMEs. Okay, that's great. Thanks very much for your time.